Okay, question six. We got this lovely graph with P upside and X along the bottom. And the equation of the graph is 100 minus 6.25 times X minus 9 squared. Now we're told a company makes a particular type of children's toy. The annual profit made by the company is modelled by the equation of the graph uh, where P is the profit in thousands of pounds and X is the selling price of the toy in pounds. A sketch of P against X is shown above but A says using the model explain why 15 pounds is not a sensible selling price for the toy. So, for part A then, we would substitute in x equals 15 pounds. So, when x is 15, p is 100 minus 6.25 times 15 minus 9 squared. Now if you plug that into your calculator, you will get minus 1, 2, 5, which means a selling price of 15 pounds leads to a loss for the company now obviously they don't want to make a loss they want to make a positive profit so 15 pounds is not a sensible selling price Okay, then part B says given that the company made an annual profit of £80,000 we want to find, according to the model, the least possible selling price for the toy. So, what we're going to do is work out the price of the toy that would lead to an exact profit of £80,000 and then to make more than £80,000, we know that our selling price has to be just more than what we find. So, for for profit of £80,000, now remember that P in the model represents thousands of pounds. So we need P to equal 80. So in other words, in terms of our model, 80 is equal to 100 minus 6.25 uh, x minus 9 squared. Now we need to solve this for x. So if we add 6.25 term and subtract the 80, we get 6.25 x minus 9 squared is equal to 20. Divide by 6.25 and then we get x minus 9 squared is equal to 3.2. Now if we square root, we get x minus 9 is equal to plus or minus 1.79. Now we want the minimum selling price of uh, x. So for the minimum, uh, 
x minus 9 is equal to minus 1.79 so if we add 9 x would equal 9 minus 179 which is 7 pounds 21 now for more than Eighty thousand profit. Are we going to fit it in? The minimum value of X would be seven pounds twenty two. Cool. And for part C, uh, we are told the company wishes to maximise their profit. Of course they do. Uh, state according to the model, part 1, the maximum possible annual profit. So you might think there would be no maximum, just keep sticking the selling price up and you'll make more profit. But if you do that, in real life, less people are going to buy a more expensive product. So, up to our graph we can go then. Now what we want is the y coordinate of the maximum point. So there, there. Now this is in completed square form. So the 100 is the maximum value of the function so it's the maximum profit now we're also going to need for part two what the x value is that gives us the maximum it's the value of x that makes the bracket turn to zero so x is nine so the coordinates of this point are nine one hundred so the maximum selling price, sorry, the maximum annual profit for C part 1 is £100,000 and for part 2, the selling price of the toy that uh, maximises the annual profit is £9. Cool.